Good day everyone, I'm back again with another video. Today, we're gonna talk about a fungus named Sclerotinia sclerosorum or commonly known as cottony soft rot. It belongs to the following scientific classification, Kingdom Fungi, Division Ascomycota, and so on. Characteristics it is a plant pathogenic fungus and can cause a disease called white mold if conditions are conducive. Esclerosorium can also be known as cottony rot, watery soft rot, stem rot, drop, crown rot, and blossom blind. A key characteristic of this pathogen is its ability to produce black rustic structures known as sclerotia and white fuzzy growths of mycelium on pl the plant it infects. This sclerotia give rise to a fruiting body in the spring that produces spores in a sac which is why fungi in this class are called sac fungi. This pathogen can occur on many continents and has a wide host range of plants. Habitat The pathogenic fungus Sclerotinia sclerosorum proliferates in moist and cool environments under moist field conditions. Pathogenicity as a canonical necrotrophic fungus, Sclerotinia attacks and kills the cells of its host by secreting an arsenal of cell wall degrading enzymes and toxins, and it consumes dead cells for energy. Through the production of cell degrading enzymes and toxins, the pathogen th then progressively kills and degrades the host cells. Control and Treatment Control of white mold on crops can depend greatly on cultural, biological, and chemical practices. Cultural practices include planting crops at lower densities and higher row spacing to promote air circulation and create microlimates that are less favorable for disease development. Besides that, excessive irrigation should be avoided until flowering has ceased. Furthermore, in susceptible areas, crop rotations should include at least 2 to 3 years of non-host crop. Conuthyrominitans is a pathogen of S. sclerosorum and is a commercial biocontrol agent for sclerotinia stem rot. Application of seminitans should occur three months before S. sclerosorum development and be incorporated into the soil. Correct use of seminitans can reduce S. sclerosorum by 95% and sclerotinia stem rot 10 to 70%. That would be all for today's discussion. Thank you so much for watching.